Hello friends, in this video I will be creating an application on calculator, very simple calculator with having just four operations addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. So let's start, open Android Studio, start a new Android Studio project, give the name as EX3 and click on next. Again next, blank activity, next, click on finish. This will start your Android Studio project. Okay, delete the default hello world and drag a linear layout vertical to your screen. Then drag First large text, change the text to first number, then drag a plain text through the screen, change the id to txt fno, then drag a large text to the screen. Give it second number. Then drag a plain text. Change the name to txt yes and no. Then drag another one large text. Double click it change text to result finally one more large text so in this we will be displaying our result so delete the text and change the id to txt result then we, we need four buttons in the horizontal so we will drag a linear layout horizontal to the screen Just click here and drag to increase the size of the layout. Okay, so drag the first button, change the text to add, and give the name of the button as BTN add. Another button button, change the text to sub BTN sub. One more button, MUL, BTN, MUL. Then one more button, change the text to DIV, BTN, DIV. Okay. So once done, our uh, designing part is over. Now we will go to the text view to add a function to it. So open first button, add android on click. So I will give the function name as calc. So click anywhere here and go to the bulb symbol and click on create calc of view. So this will create the code for you. So when I click any button, I should come to this calc function. So what I will do is I will copy this and paste to all the other functions. So you can also write a different function for each button and uh, write the corresponding code in that function. Come back to the function in main activity.java. So first we will get the reference of both the edit text. So edit text e1 equal to edit text of find view by id r dot 
id dot txt fno then edit text e2 equal to edit text of find view by id r dot id dot txt sno next we have to convert this both as string so uh, sorry uh, integer so int val1 equal to integer dot parse int of e1 dot get text of dot to string of so this will get the first value int val2 equal to integer dot parse int of e2 dot get text of dot to string of so we have got both the values now we'll have one more variable for result so result equal to zero so now we have to check which button has been clicked so this we can do it in if statement if view dot get id of is double equal to r dot id dot b sorry btn add so this will confirm that the add button has been clicked so we have to add the result so, so result equal to val1 plus val2 so we have added and the result will be in the variable result now we have to display it in the text view so first we will get the reference text view tt equal to text view text view of find view by id of r dot id dot txt result then we will display the contents to it tt dot set text of string so you have to convert it to string so string dot value of result okay. so now for the next button what we have to do is just we have to copy this and paste it once again okay. and change the id to instead of button add we will check for btn sub and change the operation to minus similarly do it two more times for multiplication and division just change the id to dot btn multiply and change the operation here to multiply dot btn division change the operation here to division so that's all then you can run the program by clicking on the green execution symbol Still compiling, so you have to select the device here and click on OK. So open the device, first number, second number. So I will give the first number as 21, second number as 7, add, yes, the result is 28, subtract, result is 14, multiply, it's 147, division, it's 3. Thank you for watching.